Well, good morning, guys. Um, yeah, we're back in home turf this morning, back in the Southern Cape. Um, hope you guys enjoyed our Nabaka trip. Um, I really enjoyed it. It got a lot of fish. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. Got some beautiful fish there. Um, a lot of cob and a lot of punzis. And um, yeah, this morning we're gonna target Kalyun. Got Gerard here with me. This Gerard. Good morning, guys. Luckily, Gerard is here this morning because my morning sorted of not too well. <laughs> um, got up early this morning, um, fixed all my tackle, and then um, changed my leaders on my reels. Everything was sorted for this morning. Got here, got here, unpacked the vehicle, um, and I realized I forgot my reels at home. So, luckily, Gerard brought an extra one. So, there we go. I'm going to fish with these reels this morning. So, at least we can fish. But the um, sea is a little bit flat. You guys can see behind me, there's a little bit of a breaking water there. So, we're going to start off fishing for Kalyun, and then later on today, we might climb onto the reefs when the tide has dropped and fish from some red romans or whatever we can find but today with the sea being so flat this is where precision casting comes in so you need to fish the working water rolling water and um two meters to the left or two meters too much to the right or a little bit too far or a little bit too short can make all the difference so you need to place your bait exactly in the feeding zone because the fish will hold really tight to the structure to the wood working and turning water and um, that's where the Khalyun will feed but um, yeah so this is my first Khalyun this is my first Khalyun session of the season hopefully it goes well and um, I can smell that um, Karad has opened his hipster with the red bait smell coming through so he organized us a red bait last week and um, I think he did a splendid job with the cheering anyway let's get a bait out First catch a black tail <laughs> and then hopefully a couple of Khalyun will jump onto the bait. Well, well hopefully this day turns out for the better because when I wanted to put a bait on and uh, I have this um, tendency or this tea or this habit to put my rod in my bucket and then put bait on from my hipster. And I realized I forgot my hipster in the bucket. Okay, ach, not my hipster, my bucket. But anyway, we're good to go now and put on a bait. Start to fish. Jeez. Okay, so the bait is really simple. It's nothing fancy, nothing tricky. Just a piece of red bait. Well matured red bait. You can see there. I like to turn it inside out. Just a little poliki like that, you it through ones. Cotton. Luckily I remembered my cotton. A couple of turns above the the eye of the hook. And make sure your hook is nice and proud. Not too many turns around the hook itself that section nice and soft and there we go little Khalyun bait it's really quiet as we suspected so gonna move a little bit to the right car out of the strain here there's a nice little working water here staying in that little hole I think I'm gonna throw it just on the outside of it at all and uh, I had one or two pools there but it's fish is eating really shy feel felt like small halyun but uh, yeah hopefully the red roman plays along a little bit later today Yeah, it's a Yeah, it's a Yeah, it's a Yeah, I'm going to go to the 
ga gevangen met die keer groot galle. Ah, my miste. Ek weet nie, het sal het gebaie. Wat gaat er aan? Zeker troll voor jou. Schat er dan. Dat is een beautiful bite, yo. Hey. Kali, mami ni pul. Dah, one step closer. Mana di sini pul ya, Aaron sebiji. Ik heb een beetje te veel. De motto. Little Red Roman, like everything is like a in the bonsai versions today. Uh, hopefully, we'll get there. Nice dog. Good, good. Going to release this two galleon in a big pool. So in the high tide, they can go freely to their home. Okay, so. I only had a couple of small bites. I missed like two of those younger Halyun. Karat caught you. And we're going to try one more spot a little bit to our left. And if that is not successful, we're going to go. Well, we're not going to spend a lot of time there in any case. We're going to make a couple of throws there and then head to a deep water point um, and fish in those heavy weave for some red aroma. Um, the tide is almost low enough. I would like to catch some. Oh, 
Als ja, trappen zo heb ik hier rechts. Huh? Trappen zo heb ik hier rechts, hier net rechts van jou. Ja, Okay, so nothing much happened um, at the previous spot, so we decided to move and um, we're going to fish this deep water point here behind me. You can see this nice deep water here. Very foul reef at the back and um, that means there's Romans or usually a lot of Romans. Um, red Romans and sometimes you get like a surprise fish in between. Something like a copper steam rice and a yellow belly. And um, all sorts of things. We're gonna target the uh, the red Romans now. Like, oh jeez. Need to hurry up. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so there's Gerard there. Eh? He decided he's gonna throw for a galleon. Fish for a galleon. Next to that rock there. Gonna fish in that white water. I'm gonna go out on this point and fish in here. And fish for a red Roman. I'll make one two throws a little bit out to the right, straight out, a little bit to the left, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can catch something. Now, change my needles and stuff, because Zander didn't bring his reels today, so I need to change my needles. Uh, needles. So I'm quickly coming with that, and um, yeah, get a throw on, make a throw. There's a little bait for um, a red Roman. Bait's a little bit big, should have gone a little bit smaller, but I want to give myself a chance to catch something better um, as well. You'll see my trace is, is short, I mean like 30 centimeters, but there's a little bit beat, a little bit of foam in my bait. So the um, reason for that is um, they're all bottom feeders, but you don't want to get stuck too often. So that little bit of float will just lift it up from the, the bottom, from the seafloor and uh, make it easier for the red roman to find and also you won't, won't get stuck. So it will just give it a little bit lift um, but not too high from, from, not too high from, from the structure because um, red romans are fish that hang around structure and um, that's where they feed and that's where their food are. And that's why you don't want your bait to float too high. But uh, you still want a little bit of buoyancy to give it a little bit of action and also keep you out of the structure and not to get snagged and um, uh, break off your tackle. But uh, when you're fishing for Red Roman, it's bound to happen in any way. But anyway, let's see. So, fishing for Red Romans, you're fishing in a, basically the wide open sea. So what you should look for is like boils. That boils means there's, there's rock formation and structure underneath the water. You don't want to throw it directly into it, you want to throw around it. Because that's where the Red Romans will hang. If you're going to throw onto it, or right, right into it, you're going to get stuck. And, um, or you're going to hook a fish and it's going to reef you. So usually just left of it, just right of it, just just before it and then also fish around because there's a lot of structure underneath the water that you can you, that you can't see so if you fish in a spot and you're not getting bites just throw 30 meters to the right and then another 15 and just scout the area till you get the bites and form sort of a pattern just explore the sea sea floor with your bait and with your sinker and uh, I'm sure you'll, you'll you will find them they will be around, you just need to find the formation that they're hanging on. 
Anyway, let's hope that there's one right through now. I really felt some thickest there. Water is nice, flat and clean. That's what they like. Now just wait. Oi! Is that one for Ja. Yeah. Guppy. Cut out sketching some column there. Getting a little bit sketchy on this rock where I am. Um, water just sprayed all over me. Looks like it's got a better fish there. Right? Hey, on a rig lapa and a moy fish. Full up better fish. Better fish. Better fish. That's a better halloween. There we go. That's a, a better size fish. There's thunder in the background, trying for a Roman. Yeah, we just keep them here in the pool so later on we can release them I don't feel like fishing for Halen, really I'll see if I can't catch something else and I'm stuck oh. oh no man Oh. Okay, so the Red Romans are not playing with well, the Red Romans are not playing along so I think I'm gonna join Kara there for one or two throws for a Khalyun and then I move to the other side of the point there's really nothing happening here um, I had one or two bites of Red Roman they'll just pick me up, pull me and leave me so they're feeling like they would typically do when the water is really cold, but the water is not cold, so I don't know if, if something is wrong with it. Sorry, don't know what happened there, but GoPro battery just went flat and I haven't recorded on this camera much today. But yeah, I don't know. Um, hopefully I recorded that previous one. But I'm just going to put the box away. I don't know, maybe there's something up with the barometric pressure or we don't know. We don't always completely fully understand fish so we'll never know exactly what it is but um, the sea doesn't look bad for the red romans at all um, yeah but anyway um, what can one do nothing that you can do you can't make them bite you can do, just do your best to try and raise a bite but anyway i'm going 
the join cutter there. Like one or two throws. Move to this other side of the of the point, push into that little bay. And hopefully there's some roaming on that side that's willing to eat the bait. But this side definitely not. So yeah, let me tie on this leader here. Try to make the most of it guys. We're only going into winter now and I'm already missing summer. Jeez. But um, you know, we need all the seasons. Anyway. Okay, everything is on. Toy. That's the fish of the day so far. <laughs> Not a bad gully. And um, yeah. I'm gonna head to that point there. See what's happening. Yeah, so while I'm walking to this spot, I'm gonna tell you guys, or ask you, I wanna ask you guys to please see if you can't support the channel by going onto my online shop and get you some Zulu fishing merch. Um, to get yourself some Zulu fishing merch and um, you know, it really helps me out when you guys buy from the online store um, a lot of work is done in the background and behind the scenes to get that online shop go um, going so I really appreciate if you guys could support me when you go on to the online store and get yourself some merch it's just www zulukfishing.com go and check it out and then also I just want to let you guys know that for um, the first retail outlet to stock my merchandise is in Port Elizabeth so if you're in the PE area and for the Port Elizabeth guys go and check it out at Pro Expert in um, Port Elizabeth and they were kind enough to order a batch of my merchandise and to stock it in their shop so if you guys are keen to check it out there in the Port Elizabeth area, head down to um, Pro Expert Fishing and uh, or Pro Expert Angling and uh, yeah, get yourself some Zulu Fishing merchandise. And um, don't forget to post a photo and um, tag me in it. I'd like to see what you guys are up to. Anyway, time to make a throw. And um, it's just been a day full of disappointment today. Well, for me, that is, but uh, anyway, it is what it is. Playing yellow belly. Oh, the same key bread. It's a rock out species. It's a rock out species. It's called a kuste. They don't grow very big. This is almost a, an adult. Oh. Beautiful colors on there. Uh. <laughs> There's a better bite. Let's hope it's a Roman and not a shy shark. Come on, come on, come on. I think this is really the Roman. I think it's that stupid shy shark things. Might be a Roman, but I'm not too sure. It's too dead. Dead and heavy.
Yeah, just like I thought. Oh, I don't like these things. Cat shark. Uh, probably my least favorite shark of all sharks. Hey, vermin. Okay, so we decided to call it a day. Um, can't tell you guys what was up with the fish. They just didn't eat. Um, I had a couple of bites that I know was uh, Red Romans. They'll pull you and leave, you, leave the bait, get, kind of get back onto the bait, pull you a little bit. And then it, I told Kara it's almost like they swim into their holes and then they get stuck. Because the fish is really shy to eat. So it's been a, been a tough day. Fishing wise, but Kara did surprisingly well at the Khalyan in the horrible sea. Um, but in the yard, that's what's lucky when someone is fishing with me. They can target one species, I can target another. And if one of us catch, we have a video. But I'm now to get through <laughs> this little gully here. Walk it pushed quite a lot. Hey. <laughs> I thought. Check I swelled or? Check that I swelled or? I think we overstayed our welcome a little bit here. <laughs> It's difficult, this water is pushing through here and it's going through that side and then when you don't look on this side it comes through here as well so it comes through both sides so you just need to wait like cannot wait at his time now got his timing right there and um, I need to do the same now No chance. Need to wait for it to settle a bit. <laughs> There's a set coming through. <laughs> Wait, what do you need a gap here? Ah. Okay, so we're approaching the bucky. This is our last little gully that we need to go through. But I'm here, guys. Um, I don't know if it's actually worth it to upload this video as it wasn't a lot of fish, but guys, this. This is reality, this is how it goes, and that is just how fishing works. So, um, if you've been following the channel for, for some time now, you guys know that I upload the good and the bad. So, um, and like I always said, I want to keep it real. Um, it is how it is, there's no fake scenes or made up stuff or uh, patching different days together. Um, we need when I patch, sorry, this camera, when I patch different days together, um, I tell you guys, and um, you know, it's usually when it's a trip, but today is you know, just one of those semi failure of a days. Yeah, you know, but my morning just started off horrible. Well, actually, last night wasn't bad, wasn't good at all. Didn't have a good night's sleep. You guys will probably notice that my energy levels are quite low. A little bit of a mess. I've got my reels. 
um, get my stuff in the bucky getting stuck all the time <laughs> things just didn't play along but anyway that is our fishing guys and these days are the days that actually make you come back for more is you come back to get that one day of excellent fishing where everything just goes according to plan and you enjoy yourself but anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of Zuluk fishing where we actually catch something um, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next week